The information is presented for educational purposes only, is not intended to diagnose or prescribe for any medical or psychological condition, or to prevent, treat, mitigate, or cure such conditions. This information is only presented here for entertainment and educational purposes only. Living Waters Wellness Center was formed after we discovered how to heal my own body from the multiple symptoms, including allergies, asthma, chronic fatigue, back pain, psoriasis, acne, hives, yeast infections, and finally, cancer. After 20 years of trying numerous different treatments, everything from medical to cleanses, iridology, muscle therapy, acupuncture, acupressure, homeopathy, naturopathy, these experiences led us to discover the recipe that became known as the Four Natural Laws of Healing. Combining multiple natural healing modalities to fully detox, cleanse the body, and then allowing the body to take the perfect nutrition to fully restore the body back to its innate health. This became known as the 10-Day Healing Retreat. We have helped thousands of people just like you get their health restored so they can live their life to the fullest extent. If you want to know what that more that looks like, go to livingwaterscleanse.com and click on the video for Natural Laws of Healing. Or call the office at 208-378-9911. Good morning, everyone. David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center and your host of today's Whole Body Detox Show. Thanks for joining us. By the way, if you miss any part of these shows... They're all iCloud on our podcast, wherever you get your podcasts at, Apple's, iTunes, or Spotify, or any of the other platforms. You can find it there by just putting in Whole Body Detox Show, or you can go directly to the website, either livingwaterscleanse.com or wholebodydetox.com. Either one of those spaces will get you to our archive of shows. Today, we're going to be talking about how does a guy overcome his junk food addictions. And I was that guy years ago. It was two Reese's peanut butter cups, two Snickers bars, six cans of Coke, a Big Mac, fries, junk food junkie I was. And so I'm going to share my story of how I've overcome those addictions and really the algorithm for overcoming any addictions, whether it be smoking, drinking, drugs, it's the same algorithm. So I'm going to share that with you today. You might want to have a pencil and paper handy because we're going to share a lot of information today here on the show. Now, the reason why we have our addictions is both chemical and emotional. For some of us, it could be when you get into stress, you've got to have a piece of chocolate. You've got to have a beer. You've got to have a cigarette. So think about those times and why is that triggering you to have those? Because they become comfort to you. And we got to learn how to break that. And we're going to talk about how we're going to break that today. But you need to also dig deep into understanding and just recognizing what are the triggers for you? What really triggers you that you got to have something to put in your mouth, something that you got to drink, something you got to smoke, something you got to take. So understanding that is good. But even if you don't understand that, the algorithm I'm going to give you today is going to clear it all anyway. So here we go. So first, job number one, your autonomic nervous system, when you come to Earth as a baby, it's pristine and perfect. Well, not nearly perfect. The average baby today has 250 chemicals in their liver. Thank you to the parents and the toxic society that we live in today. You know, you think about it. Even if you live a very, very clean life, take last summer. How many chemicals were in the air from all those fires? I would be interesting to know if someone ever assayed how much stuff was floating around. It was a lot. It was a tremendous amount last summer. We get toxins from everywhere. And, of course, what has happened over the years, beginning with farming, in 1996, they began putting glyphosate, Roundup, Roundup on the crops. We've got to have Roundup-ready crops. We've got to cut down the weeds, increase the yields. The problem with that, prior to 1996, really prior to about 2000, you didn't hear of kids or people being gluten intolerant. Did you? This word gluten wasn't in, on anybody's tongue back then. I remember in 2007 or 8, a young doctor here in town says, David, I've got two kids. I believe they were injured by vaccines and they're gluten intolerant. There's a gluten free store in Boise. I looked there like, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? Gluten free. Okay. And uh, she went out and she shared with me uh, and showed me this store. She said, look at this. Isn't this great? This has helped my kids. They've really changed so much. So I found that very entertaining at the time, but didn't really understand all the ramifications. But it really goes back when we had Dr. Don Huber on the show last year. You can go back 
to our archives at wholebodydetoxshow.com. And Don talked about this in May of last year. We actually, a lot of information, we put it in two episodes. But Don went on to share how bad this glyphosate is. And we're one of the few countries now that continue to allow it to be in our food chain. So that's, that's one problem. So we got to start looking at what we got to avoid. And as I see clients on a daily basis got gut issues, they got leaky gut, they got thyroid issues, they got hormone issues, they've got brain fog, they got arthritis, they're just tired all the time. It goes back to all the toxic chemicals that has came through their bodies in a variety of ways. Couple that with the stressors in our life, like the emotions we picked up along the way, it is a recipe for these addictions. So years ago, about 1994, there's a lady looked into my eyes. She was an iridologist, and she said, David, how often do you go to the bathroom? I didn't go to the bathroom very much. Maybe once every other day, best case. She told me that I was constipated. I should do some colon hydrotherapy. And of course, like most of you, you're probably going, what the heck's colon hydrotherapy? What's a colonic? If you've been listening to my show for a while, you know what one is, but if you don't, You need to go to the website, livingwatersclins.com, and you will click on the link, Treatment Types, click on Colon Hydrotherapy. There's a short 12-minute video there that shows exactly how a colonic is done, and it's very simple to do. So job number one is, first of all, we've got to clean out the toxins. In order to clean out the toxins, you're going to have to do colon hydrotherapy. There is not enough fiber in the world to adequately clean your tissues out. It's just not going to happen. We got to clean out the lymphatic system. We got to clean out the blood. We got to clean out the small and large intestine. Four things we got to do. That's why we call it the four natural laws of healing. And you probably want to watch that video, four natural laws of healing. So as I began doing my colonics, first of all, I felt tremendous relief. I felt more energetic. I felt a lot sprier than I was before. And I just noticed things was clicking so much better. I really found it very, very useful. Until one day I discovered, or we discovered, our family discovered, the benefits of doing 10 days in a row with all the tools we put together now that became known as Living Waters Wellness Center, the 10-Day Cleanse. And you'll find that webinar on the website, livingwatersclans.com. Click under the four natural laws of healing and watch that webinar. And it's not something, I know a lot of people come in, oh, I peruse through it. They start asking me all these questions, and I know immediately you haven't watched the video. Look at I'm very serious about this. Do not come see me if you're not going to watch the video. If you don't have 68 minutes of time, I don't have one minute for you. You need to watch the video. We're a team here. I can't play with a teammate that doesn't understand the plays. You don't understand the game of healing the body. I can't really do anything for you. It's a total waste of my time. It's a total waste of your time. you got to watch the video. And we are very strict about that. You've got to watch the video because you need to understand so that you can make a fully informed decision what's best for you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen if you do certain things, but at the end of the day, I want you to make that decision. It's simple as that. Watch that video. Now, as I began doing these colonics, uh, I also realized I need to make a few changes. Now, making change when you're chemically addicted to certain foods like Coca-Cola or Stinger's bars is a tough task. But I'll give you a great example of a gal who came. She had been a closet smoker for 42 years. She had tried hypnosis. She had tried patches. She had tried you name it. She tried it. It didn't work. She was still smoking. Three days into our 10-day cleanse, she says, David, I had no cravings today for cigarettes. That's never happened before. And that did never happen again. She never had a craving the rest of her life. Isn't that amazing? Simply by detoxifying the body. So we got to Clean all those areas out, as I mentioned. Number two, first thing in the morning, this is what you want to do. First thing. Now, most of you, you have an emotional addiction, maybe to coffee. you got to get up. you got to have that coffee pot on. Some of you probably have the alarm set. Coffee pot's going to go on. You go out there, you grab a cup of coffee, sit down, watch the paper, turn on the radio. Whatever you do, whatever your routine is, it's become emotional. Your brain just, your body just does it automatically. Hence the term autonomic nervous system. It's literally telling you what to do (laughs) because it's craving what you've been giving it. And it understands that, hey, this is what we want. Everyone down here is on the team, man. So whether it's methamphetamines, cocaine, liquor, sugar, (laughs) coffee, 
It's all an addiction chemically and emotionally. We've got to break that habit of doing that. There are several tools that we employ on the 10-day cleanse, which you'll learn about most of those when you watch the webinar for Natural Laws of Healing. So I wasn't a water drinker. And this lady told me, she says, David, water is brain food. You go, huh? She says, if you don't want to have dementia or Alzheimer's, you'll drink water and you do it first thing in the morning. I went, got it. Got it. I then remembered clearly how my grandmother did not drink water. She only drank coffee. And she refused to drink water. And she got, as her Alzheimer's got worse and worse, became worse and worse. And basically that brain was just drying up. And she died really not knowing who anybody was around her. Spiritually she probably did, but in the physical plane, she didn't know who we were. It was really sad. So first thing in the morning, you want to chug down 16 ounces. David, i got to have something in the water. I don't like the taste of water. Well, it's going to change over time, especially when you come in and start hydrating the body with cold hydrotherapy and cleaning out all these old chemicals. It's going to change very, very quickly. So first thing in the morning, get that water. You might want to add a little lemon juice to it, which will help you tremendously. So job one, clean out the colon and small intestine. Your colon and small intestine have more neurons in it than your spinal column. Neurons are like little cell phones. If you cover up a cell phone with poop, you're not going to get much of a signal, are you? In our gut, the average person, that's the average person listening to this show, so it's probably you, average, 14 pounds of, of fecal matter in your gut just sitting there rotting and putrefying. If you're not eating and going to the bathroom, you're not releasing enough, and you're going to have that toxins build up. You take over time of 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you got a lot of old junk in there. And when you start getting that out via cleansing, your world's going to change so fast. <laughs> it's absolutely pretty amazing. That's how we eventually came up with the 10-day cleanse. Is what we know it takes 10 days to get all the way around that colon and get all the way through that body. We've got to clean out the blood system, which means we have to do a liver cleanse. We have to do a parasite cleanse. We have to allow those kidneys to be able to clear out. We've got to be able to allow that pancreas to get cleared out. We've got to do all this deep tissue cleansing. And we have a variety of modalities that we use to do this. And we do that all at once. And the synchronization of that is just so amazing. So as I mentioned earlier, first thing, we've got to do some cold hydrotherapy. Number two, first thing in the morning, drink the water. If you want to add some lemon juice to it, some lemon, get organic lemon. Add that to it. If you want to progress a little bit to that, I would add a little ginger to it later. Now, first thing in the morning, just get some water down, some water, some lemon, great. The lemon ginger is going to be a little bit, uh, how should I say this? Well, you'll experience it. I take about an inch of ginger. I don't peel it. I just run it through my juicer. I have a masticating juicer. It's the best juicer to have. And by the way, you're going to want to get part of my protocol here I'm giving you is you're going to need to get a juicer to change your cravings and your addictions, okay? So go over to discountjuicers.com. Discountjuicers.com. If you want to compare juicers on his YouTube channel, John Kohler lays it all out. What's the best juicers? What juice the best? But you want a masticating juicer, okay? You're going to want to invest three to $400 in a good quality juicer. you got a 15-year warranty. And you're going to use it every single day if you really want to get on top of your health and you want to change the way you live. Which brings me to my next point. When you get up in the morning and think, oh, man, i got to have my coffee first, <laughs> I'm going to give you a little incentive here. There's one other thing you're going to do first thing in the morning that's really going to help your game. And that is you're going to take uh, enough celery sticks to make yourself 8 ounces of celery. Just start with 8 ounces. If you can't start with 8 ounces, start with 4. If 4 is too much, start with 2. All I want you to do is jam that, and I want you to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before you eat anything or do anything else. Let that celery juice do its work. So there's two, three things you do in the morning. Getting up, <laughs> you're going to go over, ignore the coffee pot for now. You're going to drink some water. Then you're going to have some celery juice, and you're going to wait. Now, David, you're going to say, i, I got to get going. I get up in the morning. Well, get up a little earlier. Have it all prepped. <laughs> Have it ready to go. It doesn't take much time to juice. If you have a good quality masticating juicer, it's really pretty quick and pretty easy. Okay? So celery is really, really great detoxifier. Got a lot of micronutrients in it. And you're going to get, the first day it may not taste so great to you. Hang with me. All your tastes are going to change. I'll give you an example. I had a gal come through years ago. She had done gastric bypass surgery. She had lost 138 pounds but gained 34 back. And I says, yes, it makes sense. You're, you're toxic. Well, how do you know? I'm looking at you. She says, what? 
Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your eyes, look at your hair, look at your skin. You were toxic. You didn't get rid of the toxins. Yeah, you, you starved yourself and lost a lot of weight, but you still have the problem. The problem's still there. You're super toxic, and you probably haven't changed your diet. Well, I eat a lot less. So what? You're still eating junk. And your body now is saying, hey, I need fat. I need some fat. Store the toxins. One place it stores it is in the subcutaneous tissue under your skin. For those of you who have hives or rashes or some skin that doesn't look great, yeah, that's where your toxins are. So on the 10-day healing retreat, we're going to clean out the blood. And when we do that, the liver is going to have more storage capacity for the occasional toxins that come your way. So you guys start looking at everything you're doing in your world. Number one. Number two, I talk about drinking the water, having the celery juice, okay? Have a little lemon with it if you need that. And then the next thing you want to do is you need to buy all organic. Do not go buy celery that's not organic. Do not do any celery that's not organic. None. None at all. Super toxic. One of the worst foods you can have that's not organic. You're just putting, when you juice it, you're just speeding up the chemicals into your body. Seriously, do not do non-organic juice anything. Period. End of story. Okay? I hope you got that clear. <laughs> do not do it. The ramifications are not great. Uh, years ago, I did non-organic, and I ended up, my throat swelled up. I could hardly breathe. It scared the hell out of me. Uh, I almost went to the hospital, but eventually I worked through it, and I didn't have to, but, you know, it was serious. I thought, oh, my gosh, I can't. That celery was it. So that's why it's because all the chemicals and pesticides they put on the celery. Okay, next thing you're going to do. Breakfast. Now, I realize some of you aren't breakfast people. Uh, that's fine. But I would probably add a little something to your diet, depending on what blood type you are. We'll do a show on blood types later. I don't, don't want to go into it here. Uh, but I'm just going to share with you what I do. And I found this to be really good. One, it's fiber. Two, it's protein and nourishing. I take hemp hearts. I take, uh, it's a pumpkin blend uh, cereal. I get it at Costco. And then I get another organic one. I mix those all together with some chia seeds. Chia seeds, good protein source. Chia seeds will bulk up. That's going to bulk up. It's going to help move things through your bowels. Then I do is I get a little bit of hazelnut butter. I put that on it. And then I add, no, not milk. No, not coconut. No, none of that stuff. I add hot water. I add hot water. I let it set a few minutes. I stir it all up. I add some apples and whatever fruit I got. Maybe some strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, whatever I got in the house. Maybe some chopped up apple. I'll add that so I'm getting a fruit uh, with my cereal, and it's a lot of fiber, and it does help you with your bowel movements. So uh, I found I love it. I, th and this is coming from a guy years ago that grew up raising hogs, and I had bacon and eggs and toast every single morning, and I had a lot of bacon. So if you're bacon lovers, uh, you want to get off that kick as well because, A, it's a toxin. Uh, pork, when you eat any kind of pork at all, it is going to raise your blood, your white blood count, which means your immune system going into hyperactive mode because of the energy in that pork. So pork, really not a product to be eaten. And I would avoid that. And I, I was a guy that raised hogs. I know how many parasites are in hogs. Getting that was really a big chore back in the day when I was a teenager growing up. Uh, today, if I have a little bit of pork or bacon, my head breaks out in a sweat. And it's like, it's sending the message. So what happens over time in your body as you take in chemicals and so forth, your body really kind of numbs you. Your autonomic nervous system is really numbing you down so that you've basically gotten used to things. And some things just aren't good for you. So I've had people tell, oh, I eat blah, blah. It's never affected me. I have no problem with it. Yeah, well, not yet. But let's wait until you're 65, 70, 75, whatever. And now all of a sudden you got dementia. Uh, because of what you've been doing, right? So what you're doing at 40 is going to dictate how you're going to live at 60 and 80. So make your plans and just remember that every morning you get up, create the habit. You create the habit, you're going to change your world tremendously. So now as you get more adaptive to juicing, uh, I'm going to suggest some other juices that you can do. So celery first thing in the morning is key. Later in the day, you might want to, you can, you can actually take some juice with you. If you use a masticating juicer, it's not going to oxidize that juice. You have a good quality juice. So just starting out years ago, what we did is we did some celery. We did cucumber. We did an apple with that and some carrots. And the carrots and the apple are going to sweeten it up. So if you're starting your kids out and your family out on juicing, you might want to start there. And then go straight celery. Because you're going to find the celery at first. It's not bad, really. It's After you do it, it's like a piece of cake. 
uh, get, you'll get used to the taste of it, and you'll yeah, you'll actually crave it. Your body will start demanding again. The autonomic nervous system, it 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 knows the rules you've given it. Okay, so if you've been sucking down cigarettes, it's yeah, cigarettes are great. If been sucking down sticker bars, yeah, sticker bars are great. If you're sucking down celery juice, hey, celery juice is my thing. That's what I want. Okay, you're going to change the dynamics of your health. We'll be back in a moment. I'm David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center. If you want to reach out to us and schedule an appointment or a consult, 208-378-9911. We'll be back in a moment. Stay tuned. We'll be back. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains, and stomach pains, and been waking me up in the middle of the night, so I never get a full night's rest. And last night, after my first colonics, I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month, and since I did the 10-day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago, I have not even had a migraine, I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years. After the 10 day healing retreat, the pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10 day healing retreat, go to healingtheincurables.com or call the office at 208 378 9911. That's 208 378 9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified health care professional before determining if cleansing is right for you. We're back, David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center and your host of today's Whole Body Detox show. If you miss any of these shows, please go over and grab them at our podcast at wholebodydetox.com is the direct website or wherever you get your podcast. And if you, if you do us a favor, would you mind giving us a, a rating or a, a ranking and leave a review? I'd really appreciate that. It helps out the whole algorithm thing and may help other people that need to hear this information. That's the most important point as we do these shows is to educate you and give you the ability to have some choice in your health care journey. So we've been talking about how to break the chemical food addictions, or any addictions for that matter, of the past. And for job number one, as we mentioned on the first episode, the first part of the show was you got to clean the colon, the small intestine, we got to clean the blood, we got to then give it the perfect nutrition. When you start giving the perfect nutrition, your body's going to respond, it's going to go, yoo-hoo. One of the things that's really holding a lot of you b- back is yeast candida, because yeast candida is something that your body is going to need sugar to feed it to keep it alive. Why do we have this yeast candida? Well, many of us have it because we were bad dentistry. When I say bad dentistry, the dental industry, in my opinion, disclaimer, disclaimer, put mercury amalgams in our mouth, mine particularly, 13. That mercury is leaking, and we know that that leaking goes into the, creates vapors and goes into the brain and degenerates brain neuron tissue. Now, mercury will convert to methylmercury unless you have yeast. Now, yeast is going to cause you to crave carbohydrates, sugars. So if you're craving any carbohydrates, uh, pastas and breads and anything with sugar in it, pretty good chance you've got some yeast going on. Uh, Now, if you've got a coated tongue, bingo, look at your tongue. That tongue's coated, you got yeast candida. So we've got to get that out of the body. We have some supplements that you can take, but again, that's going to help a bit. We have enzymes you can take, another great product you can take. But again, we got to start with cleaning out the gut first, and then we got to do a deep tissue cleanse. We got to clean out all the crevices in the body. We got to clean out those tissues. We got to clean up that liver. We got to really get everything flowing out of there. And many people will come in and they do the clinics when they're on their 10 day healing retreat when we're applying all the tools. And one of the key tools we have is a pulse electromagnetic frequency machine known as the On Demand. It's on our website under treatment types, and you'll see a picture of it there. It's also, we talk about it in the webinar, Four Natural Laws of Healing. Originally, that machine was so attracted to it because it has a special program just for yeast candida, and I could tell it was making a difference. Now, when I couple it with all the other tools, bingo, big change. And let me tell you, of a guy who had, I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I just knew I was tired all the time. Appearances, I mean, doctors would tell me, yeah, you're in great great shape. You look good. Yeah, you're fine. No, I'm not fine, doc. I'm tired every afternoon. I need a soda just to keep going. 
Well, no one ever suggested that maybe that was a problem. Ever. Isn't that crazy? I remember a guy one time says, David, you got to get on top of this. You got to begin eating right. I go, well, what the hell do you mean? What's eating right mean? The problem is, no one's ever told us to eat right. You've just been slammed with advertising over the years that those Cheetos, those nachos, you got to have those. You're going to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you got to have the nachos. Got to have all this stuff. Got all this fake food. That is problem number one. Number two, all the chemicals in the food. So you got to do organic, guys. If you want to break this addiction, I'll tell you a good story. This gal, I mentioned she came in and she was pretty toxic. And first day, she hated the soup. Couldn't stand it. Taste bud said, no way. <laughs> day three, she goes, my God, the soup was great today. What do we have today? What soup was that? And most of our soups are, are they're all, I'd say, uh, not all the time, but most of the time they're squash. And they're organic. And uh, I says, well, it was the same soup we had on, on you know, three days ago. She goes, wow. Well, it tastes so much better. I says, well, it's just your tastes are changing. And that's how fast the tastes change. The chemistry can change. You open up these pathways, things are going to move out, and you're going to become a different person. It's incredible. <laughs> I watch it. I have, the, I have the front row seat over the last 13 years, watching people come in, what I call the incurables come in, and, you know, most of the time, we've been the, we're like, they've been everywhere, spent thousands of dollars, and they get well, because we apply all the tools at once, those synergistic benefits affect you not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And tying into that, you think about it, many of us growing up, I remember some of the main foods were on our table. Today, I can't really stand having those foods. <laughs> we were a meat, potatoes, maybe a vegetable family growing up. As an adult, you know, I just ate, I was on the go. I was, you know, burning the, the midnight oil, doing deals. I was in real estate back in the day. Prior to that, I would have owned another business selling satellite television systems. So I was always going pretty fast, pretty hard, so I didn't have time to eat. And I didn't realize what I was doing to my body. And eventually I paid for it dearly with cancer and other illnesses, which I talk about in the webinar. So I cleared all that. And that's kind of my journey of how I came to understand that, oh my gosh, this 10 day thing is like cat's meow. Why would anybody else mess around with any other thing else when this thing in 10 days just changes your body and your chemistry so quickly and easily? So that's how we began our uh, process of this in, 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 in 2009. It's like, wow, we got to bring this to voice. We got we to put up a shop here. So that's where we began. Uh, and you'll see on the website, there's success stories. There's probably 200 of them up there. Just people like you, different different symptoms, but at the end of the day, all these symptoms are related to the root core, the root cause is a very toxic body. You got to clean up the body. You got to clean up these tissues. Okay, next thing you want to learn. Some of you like to do a smoothie in the morning. Great. If you've got yeast candida, you don't want to have a bunch of fruit. All right? I would stay with the juicing. Juicing and, and, and blending, two different things. So yes, you need a good quality blender. Yes, you need a good quality juicer. So you're going to spend, into the, the day, probably six, seven hundred, eight hundred bucks for both. Get good quality. I'll tell you, though, a little secret. Many of my clients have went on to eBay or on Marketplace or, or uh, the other, I can't think of the name of it now, and they found these that have never been used. People bought them, maybe they used them once or twice, and then they didn't use them. So you can probably find some pretty inexpensive in, in a thrift store. or But again, get a masticating juicer. Go to discountjuicers.com on YouTube. Watch what I mean by a masticating juicer. And then if you can, get uh, of the blender. You want to get a blender with a craft that does uh, vacuum blending. Uh, makes a big difference. So, But anyway, you need to stay away from the fruits with yeast candida. It's just adding a lot more sugar to your diet. We got to get this thing cleaned up first. Occasionally, you'll be able to do some fruit. Uh, but you can't do it in, in high amounts with yeast candida. And I would submit to you probably 95% of the listeners of the show are probably got yeast candida problems. Some of you know it. Some of you don't. If you want to take care of it, give us a call. 208-378-9911. 208-378-9911. We will help you with that. I got to tell you, I know some of you are already taking supplements for this. You're taking extra probiotics. If you haven't cleaned out your gut, you're not really changing things much because until you clear that pathway out and let's get these tissues clean, we got to clean up that lymphatic system. And the quickest, easiest way to clean up lymphatic is first, you got to clean up the colon first. 
Then we got to do some vibration on your body with our with our whole body T zone machine. That's going to move that lymph fluid daily. If you got a trampoline, great. If you got a jump rope, jump rope every day. But you got to move, keep moving that lymphatic moving. That dumps into the vein, which takes it to the liver, and the liver, of course, has got to, got to deal with it as well. But that's why we have to treat everything at once. We got to treat all the organs at once. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, if again, go watch Four Natural Laws of Healing on our website, livingwaterscleanse.com. Watch that video, and you're going to understand why you need to do this all at the same time. I had a gal recently came to us, and she had spent probably 100000 piecemeal doing some of these things. And finally, discovered, you know what? I need this all at once. Came in, and big change in those 10 days. I have seen people so, so sick, can't walk. Had one gal, couldn't talk. She had Alzheimer's. Day five, started talking to me. Blew my mind. <laughs> I wish I could add a video to look, see the look on my face, but it was incredible. Uh, amazing. When you get the body, get those neurons in the gut firing, wiring the nerves, all the nerves in your body, all your organs connect to the gut. So I don't care whether you got headaches, migraines, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, any of these things, it's because of a toxic body. You've got to start cleaning it out. How soon do you want to start? Better to start early because you know what? You don't want this stuff going to your brain and degenerating brain neuron tissue. If you've got bad dentistry in your mouth, we got to talk about that. And that'll be another episode, because bad dentistry, root canals. We just had a gal come this week, and she'd figured it out already. She had cancer, and she had a root canal. What else she had going on? Something else, too. Anyway, she had, she had watched a movie called, in fact, I think her dentist told her this, Root Cause. Uh, and I saw that, I think it's on Amazon, Root Cause. You might go watch that. If you've got dentistry, if you've got root canals, you got to understand what you're playing with. And that, my friends, is super dangerous. Quick story, guy with ALS was a dentist himself. I spent some time with Hal Huggins. He was a dentist who taught other dentists how to properly remove mercury amalgam fillings and clean up the body. And he uh, told this dentist who called him with ALS symptoms, yeah, you got a root canal. He goes, yeah, yeah, I do, but it's fine. It's perfect. We've, I've had three dentists look at it. He says, no, you don't. It's not fine. He says, yeah, it is. We've, I've had two of the best dentists in my area look at it. It's perfectly fine. He goes, it's not. Get the tooth out. Clean up the cavitation. Click. <laughs> yeah, uh, he did. The dentist took his advice, took out the root canal, cleaned up the cavitation. He was able to go back to practicing dentistry. ALS symptoms went away. How incredible is that? Pretty incredible. Toxins in your body make a difference. So whatever you've been doing for the last several years, I mean, I know growing up, you know, we never wore gloves and we worked with solvents. My dad was a mechanic. Oh, we just wouldn't clean the part up. No gloves. We just did it. I mean, get oil in your hand or grease in your hand. No big deal. I mean, think of the amount of toxins our poor livers have or had. I've done 57 liver cleanses. I'm still getting stuff out. Made a huge change. Okay, next thing to change these addictions. It's baby steps. Get the juicer, start doing some juicing, and drink that water first thing in the morning, and then make sure you've got clean water, purified water, and do not buy plastic bottled water for crying out loud. Invest in, at Living Waters, we sell a really good, in fact, it's called Living Waters, it's kind of funny, uh, machine that will clean up your water. And guys, one-time investment, change of cartridges every year. Don't drink out of plastics. It's just more toxins to your body. Oh, I'm drinking water, Dave. Yeah, don't drink it out of that. Some companies are putting it in aluminum containers. Do not do that. Do not drink out of aluminum anything. I don't. If you'd like to drink beer, do not drink out of aluminum. Get glass bottles. <laughs> do not drink out of aluminum, period. End of story. It's affecting your brain, and it's also affecting what you're, you're what maybe affecting why you've got more yeast candida. Uh, symptoms than other people. So you got to stay with these, these toxins. Very important to do that. Snacks. Now, this is the one thing. I come home and I, I've had this. I just got to have something to chew. I can work all day, drink water. And here's what I do with my water, guys. I still, I've got to stay on top of the water even to this day. And so what I do is I take two 32-ounce formerly used juice jars. And I fill those with water. One, I fill with an electrolyte. And we have a very high-quality electric light product at the office. And for some of you who need a little something to taste, that would be 
the thing to take. Put that electrolyte in there. Some of you might add some lemon to it. Okay, that's a great detoxifier. But again, I want to get at least 64 down, and ideally I want to go for two more of those. But I set those right at my desk, and then remind me, hey, get your water down. I do not drink out of plastic. I do have some bottles occasionally. I'm motorcycle riding. You know, I've got to, at those times, use something that's not going to break, obviously. So, but other than that, it's always out of glass. I drink out of glass all the time. If I do get a coffee, I do not like to get a paper cup. Why? Think what's in the paper cup. Okay, it took some glues, right? Some wax in there. Styrofoam. Heck to know to styrofoam. Never, ever, ever, ever drink anything out of styrofoam. Okay, especially if you heat it up, you're just sucking down all those petrochemicals into your liver and you're going to pay for it eventually. Only you're not going to not know what the cause was, right? It's all those toxins you took. Okay. You're going to keep doing this. So I would have some, what I call some safe treats. My little safe treat is honey delicious apples, organic, of course. I peel it. I take a little bit of hazelnut butter, or I'll take some organic uh, almond butter, and I'll dip that in there. And that is my new candy, if you will, <laughs> is uh, I'm getting great fiber from the apple. I'm getting the nutrition out of the apple, and I've got something a little to change the taste. Uh, to mix it up a little bit, and so that's what I do. You might want to add some carrots and some celery sticks or some broccoli uh, spears, uh, uh, slightly steamed uh, cauliflower. I'll tell you on cauliflower, the secret trick there, you bake that, first of all, you get a, get a glass pie plate, throw the pie plate, put in about a half inch of water. So you get that, I always bake with water. I put the water in there, it's going to create the moisture as we're baking that, and I put some olive oil in it, and I'm going to put a bunch of salt in it as well. Now, I'll drizzle that over the cauliflower. So as it's baking, it's soaking in. Add the, add the Himalayan pink salt. Do not use iodized salt. Do not use that at all. And I add that, make a huge different taste like candy. So good. Uh, some people actually use and make their own pizza with a cauliflower crust. So you know, cauliflower, cauliflower can be used in a lot of different ways. So good. Th- so that's how I bake it. Easy peasy. Blending. One of the great tools, reasons why I have a blender, is quite frankly for making soup. My, my wife does make a smoothie. Uh, she likes to do smoothies. I'm not a big smoothie person at all. I'm more like just give me the juice, get it down, get out the door kind of guy. She likes a smoothie. But another thing we use our blender for is making soups. And I talked about this on a few episodes ago about how I make my soup. But if you have never had squash soup, I don't care. Just go pick a squash. I like butternut. It's my favorite. But butternut, acorn, winter squash, whatever. Bake it for about an hour. Again, I put it in a glass pie plate with about a half inch of water. Bake it. And then let it cool. Peel off the, the peeling or the outside of it, of course. Take out the seeds. Throw it in the blender. Put a uh, chicken broth in it in the blender with the butternut squash. Some Himalayan salt. I'm going to throw in some coconut oil. And I'm going to throw in, for the fat, I'm going to throw in some uh, sautéed garlic and onions. Kick that blender on. Boom, I got soup. Takes you, you know, once, if you, if you and what we do, we, we grow our own organic squash. And what we do at the, at the end of the year, we, we bake them all up, and then we cut them up, peel them, and we freeze them. So we've got the rest of the year throughout the winter to enjoy our squash. And you'll find, that you, especially if you've got young kids and you start adding this, grandkids, and you can get really creative with these squashes, and it's a great, you know, superfood for your family to have. And again, the key is, of course, some of the seasonings. Uh, I like that no, that uh, no salt seasoning from Costco. It's another seasoning I use, and I find really good. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you missed any of it, go to wholebodydetoxshow.com. Give us a review. Give us a like. We should appreciate that. If you got to reach out to us to schedule an appointment, 208-378-9911. You make it a blessed day. I'm David DeHaast. We'll see you again next week. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains, and stomach pains, and been waking me up in the middle of the night, so I never get a full night's rest. And last night, after my first colonics, 
I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month. And since I did the 10 day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago, I have not even had a migraine. I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years after the 10 day healing retreat the pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10 day healing retreat, go to healingtheincurables.com or call the office at 208 378 9911. That's 208 378 9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified healthcare professional before determining if cleansing is right for you.